Welcome to the Fly Stoner Podcast. It's your boy Fly Stoner Motor kicking it with the Stoner Crew. You feel me? Back up in this bitch, man. You already know. Another day, another dollar, man. Live from the studio, man. Got G Money with me. And today we got a very special guest up in this building, man. You already know, man. We got the We Are Florida Podcast. Came through. You feel me? So. Shit, so. So. How we like to start our podcast off, you feel me? We start off like the first 10, 15 minutes, you feel me? Basically doing an introduction. So for the people out there who don't know, like, you feel me? Got to give them a good resume about yourself. Okay, okay. For sure. So, man, shit. It, it's your boy B.R. Ratchet from the We Are Florida podcast. You know, man. Shit, just, you know, I'm from Clearwater, Florida. You know, shit. My section, just like anybody else's section, you know, shit go down. You know, shit be happening. You know, shit can happen. You know? So, like, you know, really shit grew up, you know, uh, two, not two parent households, but I had two parents, though, separate house. You know what I'm saying? One in Tampa, one in Clearwater, you feel me? Shit. But growing up, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, shit, I was a badass jet, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was one of them kids. That's how that shit be, though. You feel me? All right. So, um, what made you start getting into this media world? You feel me? Let's get a little backstory about that. Okay, shit. Really, it's just me and my dog, just, you know what I'm saying, sitting down, watching podcasts all the time, bro. Really growing up, bro, I used to watch a lot of, like, street interviews and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like uh, street DVDs. You know what I'm saying? When they used to do the throwback rap DVDs and all that shit, I used to be watching, like, people pop out and shit. You know what I'm saying? So... I always wanted to, like, be in music and shit, and I've I been rapping for a minute, you know what I'm saying? So, and I knew how this internet shit was going to start flipping, so I started this shit, like, let me go ahead and fuck around and see how I can, you know, jump into this shit for real. And I want to say, like, what do you what do you fuck with Mo as far as, because you said you was doing rapping, so what do you fuck with more as far as rapping or media? Shit, both. Both. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying, like, if you had to pick one, right. like, if a, if a label come to you right now, like, hey man, we got this <laughs> Spotify, be like, hey, we got this podcast deal for you, or you feel me, Universal say, hey man, we got this rap deal for you, but they they picking a side, they like, man, you gotta pick a side, bro, you can't do both. Like, which one are you picking? Yeah, I'm gonna probably damn boy, that's a question. That's a motherfucking question, dog. Because music, my passion for real. But it's like podcast, that shit done became like my dream. And that shit done like opened doors for me and shit that I never opened, like, you know what I'm saying, on the music side. But um, I don't really know, bro. Like, to, to choose between them two, fam, it'll probably have to be the media right now. Yeah, I, I know. Like, I feel like that shit just like a way less stress stress free check. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, for sure. Way less stress free. check. I mean, I like I like helping others. So yeah, it, yeah, yeah, I mean that that's a lot more than just me focusing on just me and myself and my music. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I like helping others for sure. Um, what's your what's your pros and cons with media? You feel me? What's your favorite thing about media? Ooh, and what's some shit, shit you'd be like, damn, I ain't even know I signed up for this. I mean them 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 comments and got them <laughs> <laughs> got there the people like that's you know like the con well really bro the common lane the cons first the cons can be bro like people not being on time not showing up you feel me right. things not being ordered but you still having to get a job done right. you get what I'm saying so that's one of the cons with this shit bro like you could be out that bitch like. Say if you show, supposed to show up to a video shoot, you know what I'm saying? This media side, though, not the rapper side. Yeah. You feel me? you supposed to show up at a video shoot at 8 o'clock. You there. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? But the people that you supposed to be there shooting for, whatever you supposed to be doing with them, they might not show up to that bitch till one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's kind of funny, bro, because coming from when you used to do music, I was the nigga showing up at one. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why I could never really be mad when shit <laughs> I'm like not that mad, happened. But, but that's a, that's definitely a con, though. Okay. Like, nah, I see. Like, damn, bro. Like, 
you got to be on point. Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah, be yeah, on yeah, beat. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So I love for the artists is that that's really grinding out here. That's on beat. That's mm-hmm. on point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. For sure. Okay, man. Uh, yeah, man. My boy Rel just stepped in the building, man. Brief intermission. Oh, yeah, we got to say, how long have you been doing the media? You feel me? We spoke about it off camera, but. Shit, 16 months. 16 months. Yes, sir. It's a, was it a smooth 16 months? Like, once you started it, you, did, did you think you were finna, like, mm-hmm. be going this hard? Or did you, like, how, how, how did that go I mean, about? <laughs> first, let me say this. I go hard at anything. I do tight shit. That's right. But did I know it was going to take off the way it took off? Yeah. Yeah, nah, fam. That's just like saying shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think, you know, before you put some popcorn in the motherfucking, um, you know, the microwave for the first time, you don't know what that bitch do. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So that bitch just go to popping. Pop, 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 pop. And it's like, damn, bitch, I like popcorn. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? For sure. So that's how, that's the kind of moment it was like, damn, I kind of enjoy this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's what, that's what it kind of was. All right. Um... So can you speak about the people you done did interviews with? You feel me? Oh man, got bro. Gotta, you feel I me? Got I, done, I got a long list, bro. In them sixteen months, bro. And I'm and I and I gotta thank God though, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause real shit, like I wouldn't even be this far, bro, if it weren't for like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For him. That's facts. But bro, like boss man, D Lo, you know what I'm saying? Kodak, Charleston mm-hmm. White. I mean, I done work with Plies, Boosie, Webby, JT Money. You know what I'm saying? From the LOE shimmies to the goddamn Hurricane Wisdoms, Trapland Pats, the uh, the Lil Wets, the Taliban Doodles, the um, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Eye Candies, the the Eight Ball the MJGs, <coughs> the um, DDO Osama, O T Seven Kwani. I mean, bro, the list goes on, fam. The list goes on for real, for real. You out too. That was, Mike, I, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? That boy oh, was damn, giving the yeah. list all camera. I'm like, ah, damn, boy. Uh, Mike, you know, boy ball yeah, greasy, you you iceberg. Uh-huh. A lot of them, folk. Yeah. A lot of them. Yeah, that's, that's a nice little list. So I ain't gonna lie. What was that first interview? Or did you ever have an interview that you was like, damn, I'm really doing an interview with this person? Did you ever have that moment? Yeah. Webby. Webby? <laughs> Webby, I probably would have said that shit. Webby, too, bro. G shit dog. Webby and Boosie shit. Yeah, Webby. See, I met Webby first. Okay. You know, so that Webby. Webby. That boy fried, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dog. Yeah, my yeah, dog. He fucked me up. Boy. He fucked me up. <laughs> what what was your favorite interview so far? You feel me? Mm. That was like It gotta okay. be some of the up and coming artists, bro. Like the the you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of the ones that I just vibe out with, have fun with, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They life relating to my life, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like a couple of good interviews that I'm that I'ma say that that people should, you know what I'm saying, go tune in to. It's some shit like DD Osama. That was a great ass interview. Yeah. The Charleston White interview I did. Mm-hmm. Um, um BTB Savage. You ever heard of him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I did yeah. one with his girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah, I did <laughs> one with the with the girl who actually like shot the person. Damn. Yeah. So that shit was lit. Um, that shit, shit Stunner for Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, Stunner I for seen Vegas. Lil Tyler. Them is Lil good Tyler. Inter- them some good interviews to go check out. You ever heard of Roll Boy? Nah, I ain't hear about it. He was Roy. signed to uh, Gucci Man, New 1017. Okay. Yeah, when Pooh Shiesty and all of them yeah, was just yeah, signed, yeah, he was yeah. the only nigga on that singing. Uh, mm. Yeah, he was the that. only singing nigga at the beginning, like when they made the New 1017 ciphers yeah. and the freestyles and shit. Yeah. He was the nigga that started it. Man. Like he was the nigga that was like the start of the beginning of the song. Uh-huh. Yeah. But he that's a good interview. That's definitely a good one to go watch. Um yeah. Damn, I want I wanna say like, so you still a big like music fan? Yeah, for sure. I'm a m I'm more of a music fan than anything, like I mean besides sports, yeah, yeah. So do you listen to up and coming rappers more or do you listen to like Rappers that you've been listening to since as, as far as you've been doing this media. I, I really don't listen. To, I'm gonna tell you now, like mm-hmm. once you kind of get mainstream, um, yeah, you kind of get took off. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying a lot of people like that. Though. Yeah. That that hunger really, kind of go like anything like that underground, that upcoming, that you know what I'm saying. Well, 
I'm feeling it for real. Mm -hmm. I fuck with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. The first them. two, three mixtapes, first albums be the best. And yeah. That's just branch off. I, I feel like, not even the hunger, it's just like, the the vibe kind of go away. You feel me? Like, like it just like they it's, trying to they trying to uh, appease to too many crowds. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. Especially when you got that hit, you kind of got to stay in that lane. Or the label be wanting you to stay in that lane. So you feel me? Mm -hmm. They trying to go with the bread and butter. They, like when you yeah. trying to st keep trying new shit, they like no, no, no. We need this. The one that got uh, 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 you feel me? Facts, facts. Shit, you got to be that nigga to do that though. Like, you know True that. Man? True Yo, that. Cause they doing it. Like you feel me? Like Yak doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do Different. Yeah, yeah. Yak yeah, 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 stand, <laughs> yeah, stand to the like, you know, to the to the to his crowd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's so he's so different though. He don't gotta do that. No, but now, I feel like he he just so versatile. His crowd yeah, 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 yeah. He, just, yeah. he go with the flow. Like this what this album covered on this song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His crowd there, well for sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um Y'all got any questions before I go ahead and I'll start that shit up, bro. I can ask a million questions. Go ahead. Pop First off, I'm late, so I mind telling me what you do real quick. Just a couple yeah, words. Yeah, podcast, bro. We, uh, we are got flow podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you got all them people on already? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 16 months. Man, you I am. <laughs> you want to be doing 16 months? 16 months. Man, that's amazing, bro. You got to gotta scratch that, though, man, bro. Like you got, it like 16 you months, man. Fuck wrong. You done hit all the Florida legends, it sound like. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. I just want to know what you do. That's it. <laughs> he uh, said, "I got a thousand questions. I mean, what do you do? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I can ask more. For example, when you first started out, what did you start with? Was it a situ was it a situation where you was just on your own? Did you no. have a team? I, and I, when did the niggas come? Shit, I had a team from the from the jump. Really, mm -hmm. just me and two other guys or whatever. Yeah, really, like they had the building, the cameras." Okay. What they were saying, they was doing camera work or they was- They was doing camera work. Okay. So I, I found some media guys, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit took off from it with them. Like we 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 split everything 50-50. These people you knew or people you found on it? The These people I knew for a couple years because I had did an interview with them. Like uh, three years mm. prior to that, I had did an interview with them. Me and my all my dogs, like I was basically like trying to start a label out there. You feel me? Okay. I started a label out there. Started a label, everything. Had me and my dogs rapping. We had to put out our first mixtape. I took it to uh took it to these people and was like, let us promote our shit on your on your platform and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So um when we did that, when we did that or whatever, we went on the platform and I told uh uh we did they they interviewed me. I know they've been having this space for a couple of years and shit like that. And I walked up to them and you know I inboxed them and shit and told them like basically, bro. I want to start a podcast and shit like that. Mm -hmm. I know y'all got the space. I know y'all got the cameras. I know y'all want to do work like this. You know what I'm saying? I can get people in that bitch. We can fuck around and take this bitch, you know, to another level. And that's what it was ever since then, bro. Like, my second or third interview, bro, it just took off. You <clears> feel <throat> me? And it's been it's been up ever since. Who, who was your, your first? Like, who was the first three? The first three, uh, I did this one this one dude named One Way 4X. Mm -hmm. He from Tampa. Okay. He a local, he a local rapper out there, but he he he, he growing, he a growing fan base. There's one cat named Lil JB. Okay. He uh, he in uh he in jail right now, but he uh, he was a local rapper out there in Tampa, blowing up. And then I did Lil Tyler, Lil Tyler's from Tallahassee. So Lil Tyler, the one that ugh. Lil Tyler, listen, let me tell you what it was though. Lil Tyler, this is before Lil Tyler. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Had any of his music out. He only had songs out. He ain't even had no videos out. The only video he had out was Moon. Okay. You feel me? Okay. The song Moon. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. So when he fucked around and like, he had a show in my city, but the dude, the Jet One Way 4X was opening up or whatever. They was opening up for no cap. Mm -hmm. So I, it was a flyer. I know the promoter. I was like, bro, I'm trying to get everybody that's on that flyer. To pull up. Pull up to my podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three of them I got. Mm -hmm. You know, no cap I didn't get. But, Three of them I got, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Boom. All three of them. Boom, boom, boom. Knocked all three of them out. Latali, you know what I'm saying? A month or two go by. Yeah, he blowing up. He got his <laughs> man around. You feel me? This Good is the, gamble. We, we put it up. And yeah. We ain't worrying about his interview. We yeah. we looking at all the other numbers and shit. We yeah, looking at yeah. everything else that's going by. Because now by this time, I done did probably like 20 interviews. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, Latali doing his thing. Now that is bitch. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? First quarter. 
because mm-hmm. people was already fucking with him. Yeah, yeah. And the shit that before we even did it, before we even did the um, before we even did the uh interview and shit like that, I was listening to a song. He had he had a song with Fifty Jit down here. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That was Law and Order Part Two. He yeah. had it, he just had it as an audio. Yeah. So when he had it, he had it out as an audio. I had listened to it, and the main thing that caught my ears was the uh, Jada Waiter and Ruby Rose part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> when he came on the podcast, you can t- check the time slot, bro. Check the uh, time snap. You feel me? He came on the podcast. I asked him straight up. I say, bro, what you want, Jada Waiter or Ruby Rose? <laughs> now look, now that that's the main thing I grabbed out of his song. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. when they shot the video and this bitch went to going crazy. Mm-hmm. Why was that the main thing everybody in the world <laughs> grabbed out of the song? I was like, bro, that is crazy. So by this time, you know, I got my, I got that clip already going crazy yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. like, whoa, yeah, he said yeah. some shit as a jit, like, get away to Ruby Rose, which one you want, fam? Mm. So it's like, yeah, I, I kind of <laughs> like, with that interview, that shit kind of helped me out a lot. Yeah. Kick me, kick the door down for me to do on this podcast shit. That shit like, let me know like, bro, you can do this shit. Facts. I mean, you asked the question like, and you ain't even know nothing about Jay. Yeah, you yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. nothing about him. You feel me? I had just mm-hmm. met him that day. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And the main thing, I, all I heard was, bitch, Jay, the way the rule roll, roll, jit, damn, <laughs> bitch, you snap. You feel me? Hey. So so when you buy the interview artists, like, do you really do your research? Mm-hmm. Like, do you really, like, go in and... I do my research on the artist. You feel me? Now, now I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of that. Okay. Doing your research on an artist, right? Mm-hmm. And they don't got no background. Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. got no um they don't got no history, they don't got no story, they just uh they want, just, you know, yeah. trying to rap. Yeah, facts. Like, how much homework can you really do on that type yeah. of person? Only thing you can really ask them is up and coming artist questions. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Facts, what you facts. wanna do, like what's your message for the people, how far you wanna go with this mm-hmm. shit, what's your dream, what's your goal, what's your inspiration? But so you- it's like, yeah, with them, I have fun on the on the interviews because we could talk about really anything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. but like with bigger artists and shit, you really can't talk to too much. You gotta you gotta tippy toe because yeah, you, you can't gotta talk about certain shit. You gotta make sure you stand on topic yeah. about what they what they had going on in their lifestyle and and you know how shit play out as like a you know like a uh, a timeline. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you ever get artists on there like? They just really be on the too cool shit. Facts. All the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. All the time. All the time. All right. So how, yeah. how you get over that? Like, you just hit them with a couple questions or you just be like, all right, man, I'm just finna do man, me and just try to I was finna say, make them come. Tell, tell them how I kind of make people relax, bro. Just talk to them through it. I just really talk to them. Like, like bro, like, if somebody come in there on that cool shit, bro, I'm really going to try to open them up, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, To not yeah. be on that cool extra shit. Like, let a bit know, like, bro, like, I, I'm one of them, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can yeah. come in, kick mm-hmm. it with. Yeah, yeah we cool. Like, we we, we on the block, do, you feel me? This, you got to do too much. Yeah. You, you got to do you, too much, bro. I ain't one of them that's, you know, finna ask no crazy questions. This ain't no jumper. Yeah, mm-hmm. facts. You know I mean? Facts. This I was just about to ask, do you ever have a guest where that shit was just, it wasn't going good, the vibe wasn't no, you had to scrap that shit or tell them to leave or something? Nah, not too much of that. It didn't been it didn't been bad vibes and shit, but not like too much of like me having to tell nobody like the slide and shit. Mm-hmm. It didn't been people like you know, where where the situation where people over talking each other mm-hmm. or a situation where the person that'd be the worst can't even answer mm-hmm. a question. Yeah, like, okay. that'd be the worst. All right, shit like that. Are they like, boring? Yeah. So do you, you ever had a scrapper interview? You ever had a black? Like, you know what? It's just not even worth it. Like, cause me, it kind it kind of would make. The the artist or the the interviewee look bad too if they right, ain't got right, a good right. interview. So you kind of doing me, them a favor. Me knowing the content world and mm-hmm. and me just posting content, bro. Mm-hmm. Hell no, nah, I'm not gonna scrap an interview. Okay. Now I have have an artist <clears throat> told me to like scrap their interview. Hell mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. I scrap it then. All right. But other, other than, than that, that, like nah, that man, we putting that content out on your ass. Well, like, that's, yeah, my <laughs> time, on this bitch, that's how you coming. You feel me? I I did what I was supposed to do. Yeah. Like. You got to come on this bitch. You a professional. Be a professional. That's facts. You feel me? If you're trying to be a professional, you got to be a professional. That's facts. All right, man. You feel me? If y'all ain't got any more questions, we can go ahead and get into these topics. For sure. He asked you what rap you listen to, what R&B you, you listen to, if you listen to it. You said what rap I listen to? No, he asked you what rap you listen to earlier. Okay. 
what R and B you into? Like he asked you, do you listen to more of the new school or the old school? I think. Oh, I listen to I listen to more of shit old school, fam. So I was I was going to lead into do you have will you have R and B local artists on your podcast? Facts. I love R and B. I have I didn't have some singles on there. Okay, like okay. for example, um, not too many big big singers. A lot of up and coming singles though. So really like. Let me see who I done had on that. What's the girl name? Um, damn, dog. I just worked with a girl. Dog, good, dog. Yeah, dog. <laughs> as long as I know you showing them some yeah. love. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I fought with I fought with singles though, bro. But like male, even male singles, bro. We didn't work with we didn't work with uh we didn't work with Hurricane uh Hurricane Wisdom. Mm-hmm. My bad, Hurricane Wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rome G. Y'all ever heard yeah, of Yeah, I think I did, yeah. Yeah, Rome G. Um, the Cutter. You feel me? And shit, that's really it right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So y'all ready? Yeah, we mm-hmm. going. Ready for the bullshit? Yeah, let's go. All right, man. We about to get into some bullshit. Now, now we, you feel me? We done got past the journalistic part. Now we on the block. For chilling. Sure. Mm-hmm. You feel me? With, with the boys, you feel me? For sure. Mm-hmm. So we finna start off like, man, I don't know what made me think about this shit, bro, but nigga was thinking just back in the childhood days, bro, like, what's the what's the youngest y'all ever got left at the crib, bro? Like, what, what was the youngest y'all, like, your parents was not supposed to leave your ass at the crib, but they done got missing in... Seven? Seven? I, I kind of feel like it was seven, too, bro. I it is kind of young now that I think about it now. It, yeah, but hell yeah, that's young as fuck. Seven. seven? I don't know if I'm going to leave my jit at the crib at seven. You yeah. might leave your jit at the crib right. at seven. Yeah. Yeah. At the same yeah. time, yeah. we was kind of like more mature. More mature. No, we wasn't. Some of us, I ain't going <laughs> to lie. I feel, like, I feel like these kids more mature than us. Yeah, bro, it, was, it used to be like 11-year-old girls watching the whole, watching three, four different jits at the crib. Yeah, home. that too. Yeah, but... Right now, if you put a seven year old around around like three, four kids, I feel like they can watch two of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. it should be. Yeah. yeah. It just seemed crazy. Like, it man. do seem crazy, but bro, like this generation is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. But I ain't never get left out of the crib. My bad. Uh, hell no. <laughs> never? I mean, you got to come with me. <laughs> Always. Yeah, I ain't going to yeah. lie. Yeah, I, I'm trying to be one of them type of parents, bro. You got to come with me, boy, because of the shit I did when I was left out of the crib. That, that, and that what made me think about it, too, man. I got left in the car. And it ain't turn out good. Oh, yeah, I got left in the car too. I put that I bitch mean, in the purse. All the, you, all the <laughs> that bitch. you said what? I'm saying you locked all the doors. You locked yourself inside. No, nah, nah. my, my old girl went inside the stove. Oh, and you tried to drive. I'm in the, car? the big van. Me and my sister I'm gonna do that bitch in reverse. You know, in the van they got the little. Uh, you do, 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 stole that bomb's whip. Blue, huh? Stole yeah. whip. Yeah. Uh, Nice. What define still? That's white people still. I mean, mm-hmm. taking it, taking moms or pop shit without them knowing. Without like, them knowing. I mean, yeah, I done did that. Yeah, but that I, I'm like, yeah. I'm talking about like stealing. Like they're not gonna get it back, fam. I oh mean, yeah, yeah, nah. Well, I done, yeah, mm-hmm. boy, you don't got borrow it though, so we stole it. <laughs> but listen, do it, do you it. get you get that text. Do hey, it. pull up or nah, yeah, where the come fuck see my, me. Where the fuck you yeah, at? I ain't never Nigga stole it for a girl, and I think I stole it for the joyride. See, I, I ain't never stole, stole it to go see no bra. I stole bro. that shit for a girl I'm every definitely time. Definitely stealing it for the girl. I ain't gonna lie. Every time, like <laughs> I ain't never stole. I get a text like, "Oh, da da da, you talking crazy? Pull up." I ain't gonna lie, boy. It'd be funny too, cause like I could, I could imagine me playing it back. Like, okay, I'm picking the keys up, sneaky, looking. Okay, nobody up, nobody up. Mm-hmm. Opening the door a couple times. Okay. Open it and close that bitch. Walk back. Yeah, like, hold on. Okay, nobody, nobody up. Nobody mm-hmm. up. Okay, this third time, I'm cutting on the car. <laughs> gotta hop back out. <laughs> nobody up still? Yeah, still gotta miss it. Yeah. I don't know. Skirt! We gone. Nah, fuck it. I ain't gonna I'll, lie, but do it count if you already done. She, they, she, they already know you drove the car before. That, uh, yeah, I mean, so that, they didn't let you drive the car before, but. They just you ain't took that bitch when they were sleeping. It's just nice, yeah. nice about 1230 at night. They dead ass they sleep. Dead sleep. Yeah, you I'm taking that. I'm taking that. It was that. for a girl 99%. <laughs> I'd have did that shit so and then, like, it's, and then, easy to, it's easy to say everybody in the snuck out. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy? A lot of people ain't different levels. A lot of people ain't sneak out though. I snuck out. I had to sneak out. I snuck out as a jit like during the day to go outside, like they'll sleep. 
Nah, nighttime. Damn. Oh, nighttime. I, ain't never, I ain't never. You could sneak out. out during the day. You could go out night, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. This bro, shit bro. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you that kind of bad. I ain't never yeah, snuck out during the day. Nah, I'm about to say they yeah. want you to be outside in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. At nighttime, I was, on, I was on like on punishment type shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot. That's why I said when you okay. that kind of bad. Too. Me too, though. But they will take the phone. They take all that shit. Take your ass outside, but you ain't taking no phone or no game. Nah, they wouldn't let me go outside. They took the phone. They can't watch TV. Oh, damn, Y'all right. ever been turned upside down like this? Like a nigga held you? Hell like no. Your feet? What the fuck? I used to get whooped like that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> upside down like a banana, bitch. <laughs> shit, I never got a beating. Shit crazy. What? I used to get whooped bad, bro. Oh, I ain't. I got beat in. I never got a beating. How they used to punish you? Punishment? Oh, shit. just that. Dude can't, can't do shit. Yeah, so took what, that game. That shit hurt a nigga. It do, though. It do. <laughs> what's, the, what's the toughest punishment y'all boys ever had to go through? Toughest punishment going on. I mean, with your parents or just life? took like six months. Shit. You said TV being took for six months? Your All TV that shit. being took for six months is crazy. Bro, that's some crazy. What, what were you doing? TV. I, I, I ain't going to lie. That's Compared to other fuck, niggas, bro. I swear I was a good kid. I used to get in trouble for like talking and stupid shit. Or yeah, skipping, skipping school, stupid yeah, shit like yeah. that. Nah. Niggas was fighting and killing niggas in school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, yeah. I'm just skipping school. But mm. I ain't going to lie. She ain't like all that shit. So when the people used to call us, she like, well, you got these people calling my crib. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. She taking, she taking the phone. <laughs> you know that phone, my weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, taking yeah. the games and she gonna take the TV at last resort. Shit, I was paying my own bill, so it wasn't gonna take my phone. Oh, see, that's a whole nother thing. See, the phone was the last <laughs> resort for me. You feel me? The phone was like, that was level, that was boss level. Like when they took my phone, I was like, damn. I'm talking no, house. I'm talking, none of that, though. I'm, I'm, this talk, shit, I'm talking house, house and sale. House in sale? So, only time I can use the house phone is before she get to work, before she come home from work. Cause yeah, <laughs> back then you can't, you feel me, figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. But damn, you had to remember, boy, that's. <laughs> nah, but nah, bro, my, my question was, hey, um, what, 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 what's, what you mean by like the worst punishment? I mean, by your parents or just in life? Mm. That is, a, that is a good way to think about it. Shit, I want to hear both. Yeah, you feel me? I yeah. mean, by my, by my parents, probably like, yeah, I used to hold phone books on top of my head. Damn. I didn't, I didn't, Man, I, did I didn't have shit, to squat though. in the corner. Squat yeah. in the corner? Yeah, yeah, that was my type of punishment. I didn't I got, was on some I didn't got, shit. I didn't got my, my, my doors removed. Pull the weeds out oh, the nah. grass type yeah, shit. Yeah, pull the weeds out the, the grass. What do you mean the door removed? The like, door, I didn't got my doors removed off my bedroom. Oh, they had you on some slave shit. <laughs> bro. That's crazy. I like, heard that, but that's yeah, extreme. I heard fun. of that too, I'm but a, I never think it real. Bro, hey, old, but what listen, you was doing though, bro? You I'm had a, to be wild. <laughs> I'm an old man, baby, though, bro. Like, so, and then my mama was a church lady, bro. So, okay, I was okay. getting both sides of like, all right, I'm getting, I'm, it's, it's strict shit going on over here with this mm -hmm. old man. But then with my mama, like, she's strict because she a church lady off chickens. Yeah, you me. So off top, like. If I do anything, oh, she just a damn unnailed a damn dough for no reason. Just that is crazy. I'm trying to think, if, if, I'm trying trying to think if I got my dough removed before, though. I think I think so, bro. Nigga, you didn't got an honest fucking with you. Didn't <laughs> got that dough nah, removed, no bullshit, though. though, bro. I think so, bro. The but, door remove is crazy. Yeah, that's extreme as fuck. You know how yeah, much work I got to do to punish you? Um, shit. Lock, lock. Shit, what else? I, I'm like, saying, so they just walking past the shit like, you gotta look at yeah. 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 You ain't been up with me. What the fuck is this? What the fuck you doing in there? What the fuck you doing in there? Oh, all right. Just make a show. Just make a show. Yeah, she just be hollering. I, I really got a lot of yelling. A lot of yelling. Yeah, I mean, yeah. not nothing too much serious. My, my people just been yelling. And then, like, at a point, like, my daddy has, like, he, he thugging too. So he wasn't really, like, too much tripping off shit I was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably seen the same shit he used to do. Like, okay, yeah. I, I get it, but I'm trying to make you not do it. You for feel sure, me? For sure. Okay. All right. So as far as uh, life punishment, life what? punishment, yeah. jail, stay out of it. Mm -hmm. That's facts. Don't go. That's facts. Yeah. If you can help. <laughs> I'm trying to. Worst punishment. That's fucking jail. Yeah. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can say. Can't even. I'm talking about, bro. I tell people all this time, bro. I I I love twisting dough knobs. You know what I said? And no diddy. You feel me? No diddy. <laughs> I love twisting dough knobs, though, bro, because you don't even understand, bro, the privilege of a twisting a fucking doorknob. Like, yeah. Bro, they can't twist no dough knobs in jail. Yeah, bro. yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, that's just 
That's just like opening the refrigerator. Mm-hmm. They can't do that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Closing yeah. a door to their bathroom while they shit piss. Yeah. Like, them things is like big ne- to me. I never thought about it like that. Twisting shit. the door knob. I didn't think to talk about freedom. That's freedom. I just gave you three things. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. freedom. That's real. That, that they can't do. Yeah. You get stripped away from all that shit. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck everything else that they taking away from you because you already know they're going to take your time. They're going to do all that extra shit. But we talking about like the small things that we enjoy every day. Yeah. We you, we can't even say we enjoy, but we, we use every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. You, you ready? Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, shit. I got another question for y'all boys. Okay. How do you kick a chick out your crib correctly? Like, what's the correct way to kick a chick out your crib? Oh, shit. indirectly or directly? Shit, indirectly, directly. Like, what's the what's the proper way? Like, you can if do you, both. If, if she, like, why, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Why are you kicking out? Is a good or a bad reason? Yeah, you just you just trying to get her up out of there. Yeah. Of, okay. Oh, she ain't doing nothing. You just tired of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you tired of it directly type shit. Yeah. I mean, you just got to let the girl know, bro. Be honest. Let her know shit. I mean, shit. I'm tired right now. Shit, I'm finna either go to sleep or what you finna do. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna hit him. <sighs> you gonna hit him with the what you finna do or I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I'm about to do something real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. You gonna have to stop. Yeah, shit, I'm gonna do. to do. Um, I ain't gonna lie. Shit, what's the, G, what's the toughest way you done had to kick a girl out the crib? The toughest way? Now, boy, I ain't gonna lie, boy. Boy, this bit, I told her get out, just straight up. She so went, I'm saying you done, you done finished smacking some shit. I ain't never said that. Though. Yeah, like that. What oh, I'm saying, about, like that. I thought you were saying like on some just kick. You gotta just kick the bitch yeah, out. Yeah, nah. You, you talking about after to... you don't hit her? Yeah. And you ain't feeling the vibe afterwards, cause shit after the. Okay. Nah, shit. You just, you just over it. You feel me? Like you just trying to get up out of there. I mean, mm, I say like. I told her ass like, uh, I made care. Uh, t- that that was uh, said. Yeah, he did. You don't want to yeah. expose this. <laughs> <laughs> <And like, laughs> hold on, I almost told her. Yeah, for sure. like, but right now, bro, indi- indirectly kicking a girl out the crib is. Yeah, like, no, I ain't never do. It's, I thought you were saying it's doing extra shit. I done put on a Just, whole fit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Doing extra shit like yeah. turn on the TV, start cooking. Letting her know, like, shit, man, you feel me? Like, I'm finna, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finna yeah, jump yeah. in the shower and head out. What, what, what you, you about to do? Yeah. yeah, that what you about to do. But it ain't, it ain't directly kicking out, but it's like, you, you know. Yeah, man, you already your know. Your time is up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. All right, all right. All right. So let me go ahead. I think I got one more question for y'all. Okay. All right, this this is like a low key funny question, right? All right. So let's say your homeboy a bad driver, right? You know, bro, a bad driver. <laughs> this your dog, though. You feel me? This your your real dog, dog. You feel me? So your homeboy a bad driving. He hit your car. Like how how you go about that? Do you ask for his insurance or you settle it outside of that? Bro, gonna have to shoot that money. <laughs> nah, yeah, ain't no insurance. It, I mean, we ain't got to talk about insurance and shit like that. But well, all right, what if you I know, bro, that? getting money, bro, gonna have to shoot it. What if he nah, ain't getting I, money? That's what I was gonna say next. If bro not getting money, bro, oh, shit, shit gonna be fucked. Up, <laughs> I'm gonna be looking at bro like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you but know what you do though? This for my real. Dog, I mean, you can't do nothing when you don't <laughs> get money, bro. But you can't be like cool with the nigga. What you give him an attitude for a couple months? What you do? But you can't do nothing with nothing. A nigga who don't get no money. So yeah. it's like. This your it's, dog, dog, too. Oh, it's a man, man. It's your man. It's either like this nigga got to come up with a plan. Report the shit stolen. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want to have to do that. Yeah, but God damn, yeah. homie, like they can go through <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> no reason. Go through the bullshit just because you, you know. But at the same time, is this your dog, bro? He gonna fuck around and try to, you know, handle up some kind of way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if yeah. we do got homeboys out here that that won't. Handle up, even if they, you know. I be like, asking for his insurance ain't that bad, bro. If you really think about it, like, what's the worst that can happen, bro? Like, if, I mean, that gonna kill your friendship off top. You think so? Most, asking for insurance, it's shit, but shit, niggas are going up. <laughs> yeah, it is though. But you don't fuck bro, my whip up. One thing, <laughs> you one don't thing, fuck my whip thing, up. One thing about getting people involved, other yeah. people involved. Yeah, you, mean, you basically like. 
Like you fucking up. Like not saying you fucking up, but you're fucking up a relationship. Yeah, it's like, like saying like you, you couldn't have cleaned. Like, we couldn't have like, settled this ourselves. All right, I'm gonna compare it to this. Mm-hmm. If, if if a girl puts you on child support, you gonna ever look at her the same? That's 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 a good way to think about it. She putting you on legal paperwork now. He, you finna raise old boy shit. Old boy finna damn nigga that's R22 if he fuck around and just, you know. Yeah. Hold on, no. Same, he, same thing. Do we do we do we got job? Do we got money? Is he getting like? That was, yeah, yeah, we said he he. But that's what I'm saying. He, he ain't got the money to fix his shit. Insurance. Yeah, he ain't got the money to fix his shit. Yeah, but say okay, say he do got a job and got insurance, right? Uh-huh. But don't. But got say money. it. Say you know your dog been hitting people cars and shit. Yeah. This might oh, so be is that, that gonna bring his shit through crash. the roof? Yeah. He might be on the SR22. Yeah. He might gotta pay extra money for real. Damn. So that's a real L when you think about that. So it's yeah, a real so. L. So it's like, damn, what should I do? Like, fuck this relationship. Yeah. You go home to your girl, she gonna be like, go motherfucking on, get his insurance. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? But that's my dog, though, babe. Well, shit, your dog shouldn't hit your car. <laughs> So what you gonna do? Yeah, it shouldn't even be driving, you're non driving. So ass. really, like, I'm gonna try to yeah. handle that shit without doing all that and just get that shit. Yeah, put that on that payment plan. <laughs> nah, yeah, like, so. get my, give me my money, you feel me? Whether you gotta do that bitch in increments or however. Or some, just at, you at gotta make it happen. Time, you gotta come off that money. I yeah, need that payment money. Plan. Yeah, my vehicle. Yeah. All right, man. I know you got to get up out here. I got one last question talk for you. Talk to me. Talk to one me. One last question. Because I did ask this on the last episode of the podcast, and that shit was really funny, though. But, right? It's the same same, same situation. Your main man, you feel me? You with your main man, right? Or you done seen your main man, right? And he getting jumped by the police. You feel me? What do you do in that situation? Because I'm really thinking about it. Like, Nothing. I'm talking about he getting the the, his ass whooped. Like, it's three police officers. They, like, going to work. Bah, bah. And you right they there. Off, you done they, walked up. Oh, look, they off. Um, nah, they on duty. Okay. They just going to work. Bah, bah, jumping his ass. Nigga and mind. you right there. What can you do he in that going, situation? He already going to jail for a uh, battery on the Leo or obstruction. Yeah. Mm. So I'm saying, are you going to help him? Like, are I'm you going to push think. a cop or are you going to call the police, even though they are the police, which which really ain't going to help the situation? I mean, when when I'm going to tell you one thing. It's either you can fuck around and either go to, go to jail or you can go over there and fight and get into it with them. Yeah. And if you're not no fighter, then don't fight. But, shit, if they, if they jumping your dogs, bro, you got to go out like Park. Park shot at the police for for jumping on somebody. Yeah, yeah but and that wasn't even his dog. Though. And that wasn't even his home. That wasn't even his dog. But they were off duty, too, I though. mean, I'm they one of them people duty. that's for the people, bro. Like, you fucking with somebody, bro, I ain't one of them people that's like, don't 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 fuck with the jet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Three against one. Y'all, y'all, y'all know better. Y'all right. know better. I can ride with you, then. Yeah. <laughs> and that boy said he gonna help a nigga. Tighten up. Yeah. Tighten up. Get y'all ass from around. What y'all doing? Y'all? Yeah, <laughs> me. Nigga, your ass getting your ass beat by the police. You think I'm gonna jump in and get beat too? Yeah, that's I ain't jumping in. But, but, it, but damn, it's like, what do you do? Nigga, you gotta shoot it in the ass. You can't pull your camera yeah, and start wow. recording. That look crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> you gotta start sh- you gotta hey, shooting it up. Are you the type to go oh, live yeah, though? Yeah, that's the best thing you can do for real. for real. live, bro. What? That's that check. You getting the check and he getting the check for going live. You got that video. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Yeah, R.I.P. George Floyd. That's what but, I'm saying. You go live and they over the fucking man's up. Yeah. You can't do that. Dude, it's, you it's fucking you part of you the They're going to be in the comments. Damn, you watching your homebody get that back. That is not true. You part of the crime. Accessories to the crime. <laughs> That's how they're looking at it's your ass. It's almost like you got to go outside. Nah, I don't think it's I, you the best walk bet. Away, uh, nah, no, nah, the best bet is to shoot in the air and run, bro. Bro, they gonna it. shoot your ass. No, you talk about nah, shooting. Nah, nah, that's gonna cause distraction. You right? Shoot in the air. Shoot in the air. Shoot in the air. It's a real crime. I bet. I bet. I bet. All y'all gonna see the next day. All y'all gonna be straight. Nah, three. It's three police officers beating your man. Yeah. You shoot in the air and get the fuck out the way. Just slide. Just slide, bro. They ass gonna be on the loop. They gonna jump up like, whoa! What the fuck just happened? They gonna get about what I'm saying. You you watch them from a distance. You yeah, got you ain't close. Yet. You gotta <laughs> plan that shit out. They yeah. beat. They, it's three <laughs> niggas beating one nigga. They going to work for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you know they use tactics to fuck you up. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah. Neck. You get feel me? Ass. The knee. Whoop. They like hit you with that elbow, baton. The baton. You feel me? Pepper spray. They fucking you up to a whole All different right. level. See, when when niggas kick you and hit you. We just hitting you and kick you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're hitting facts. you in spots where they, they know, know that yeah, bitch yeah. bruised. They train uh, affirm- for this. Affirmary as soon as you get to the hospital. I mean, as soon as you get to jail. 
For sure. See, I ain't gonna lie, boy. That's a good ass question. I so I said I'm finna go ahead and just break the police window or some shit and just get up out of there. Then you gotta worry about <laughs> you gotta your window. This, you gotta cause a bigger yeah, like, <laughs> <You next. laughs> Yo, no, they, they on they on me next. You they next. Tell you you ass. Ass. He break the police window, bro. You next. Blah. Get about yeah. it. Uh, uh, you uh, saving uh, your dog. Shit. That's the only thing you can do. You can't fight. You can't call the police. Cause the police go, they the nearest police. They gonna be like, yeah, we heard, yeah, it. <laughs> we heard that situation. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna get on it. Yeah, what <laughs> Keep if they going say to work. Fuck oh, the window shit. and still kill him. Then that's fucked. I tried though. I tried it. I tried to help, bro. I tried but you to gotta do think about it. You ran. Yeah. I try. As you, you you should be worried about your window. You feel me? Like I don't know, bro. That's yeah. the best I can and do that's for funny. you. Yeah, you you crash the window. Them niggas still beating. And they ass. still beating. <laughs> yeah, then it's like gonna give a fuck about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's like especially if they don't even hit that shit. Yeah, yeah bro. They gonna what? hit that gunshot. That's bro, what I'm trying bro, to tell you. Some shit. They gonna hit that gunshot. Hit that gunshot. Just slide. Sure. And they gotta react to that. You yeah. Better shoot that bitch around the corner. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. When, if they on your ass. They gonna be on your you ass. Gotta, nah, for sure they gonna be on you for sure. But you just gotta be smart about the shit if you're trying to help out. Right. That's all. Just be strategic. All right, man. I know you gotta get up out of here, man. For we sure, appreciate man. you. for I coming through. I definitely appreciate you for having me. You know what I'm saying on y'all beautiful platform, bro. This shit. You know what I'm saying. I like this shit. Yeah, man. We already know, man. You already know we gonna pull up on you. You feel for me, sure, bro? You got to, bro. You gotta pull up to the set, man. Yes, sir, man. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, man. You can tell them one more time where to find you. For sure, man. Y'all follow me, you know what I'm saying, at BL Ratchet. Y'all follow We Are Florida Podcast, you know what I'm saying. Y'all follow Mitch One Essentials. That's the YouTube channel. That's everything, too, you feel me? And you know what I'm saying? Y'all follow everything that, you know what I'm saying, that I got going on. Y'all follow Flossed on the 305, man. It's your boy BL Ratchet tapping in and tapping out. Let's ride. Good fuck with y'all, man. We out.